Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future the game. For more point and click adventure game action, we are right back where we left off. We're playing in the garage here, we've got to find some evidence to try and convince the doc that we are really are from a different timeline. And uh, I think the evidence is probably going to be here on these monitors, or at least around it. Um, if you notice that I sound a little bit different, I'm using a slightly different headset for a bit. Um, I had to get a new laptop because my old one broke. And the headset that I usually use doesn't work on the new laptop. So I'm waiting for a particular adapter to come through and it's a long story. So, uh, yeah. It's been a bit of an ordeal, but we're, we're back making videos. And um, the usual mic will be back soon. So let's take a look at this bat. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Of what we need. Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? I don't know, you tell me. the last thing you remember. <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Oh, no, the tapes the have gone. Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Right, we've got to look for the box, then. Uh, it's probably... No, that's a tape Here case. It is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Oh, no, that is the one, but they're all gone. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been yeah. mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Uh, your enemy's mum, Biff, Edna. I'm guessing it's probably Biff, right? Who's been so making for trouble that. for you since, like, forever? Biff! Biff! Ever since the Browns took an interest in him back in the 50s, he hasn't caused me a lick of trouble. Besides, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, he's as gentle as a kitten these days. Oh, it's mm, no I'm not sure use. I believe that. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Uh, let's start grilling people. Let's go to the police. Let's look for more clues. I reckon we've got to look for clues. That's probably the best thing to I do. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be right. something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? Cool. But I need those tapes now. Uh, we don't you have six months, tapes. so... Uh, what I mean is... Can you do that a bit faster? I'd hate for you all to lose all that work. I'm worried for your safety. Justice must prevail. I need to give it to Citizen Brown. Let's try that. Because we technically do Citizen need to Brown. do that. I told him I was going to furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy yeah, to get, good believe friends. me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, uh, kissing girls in yep. public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget you not been I'm looking your on your father. cameras. I know your history. Yeah, well... History's changed. Prove it. Uh, I will if I can get the flipping... What do you call it? It's the tapes. Uh, oh, we have the demerits, don't we? You can give those to him, maybe. Read him and weep. Demerits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his hill valleys just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. 
Okay. But first I have to show them your tapes, to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours, yep, yep, maybe yep, yep, you yep, know yep, what yep. you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out Dad. of it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Uh, do it for your family, do it for Citizen Brown, do it for Arthur. Do it for your family, your family, man. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. What the hell is Sector X? Okay, do it for Citizen Brown then. It's your civic duty. Doesn't Citizen Brown always tell us to keep our noses clean? And that's what I plan to do. Uh, we'll do it for Arthur then. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting <laughs> away stupid. Kid Cannon, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see? And he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? So he is doing to the it. surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Yeah, we already saw that, didn't bases. we? Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. Uh, okay. Do we have to fiddle around with these? Yeah, it's not working. That one's been busted. How do we that it? do the dials? I'm looking for the one that's trained on us. Well, none of them are at the moment. Where's the... Right, switch. That's what we want. Alright, it's not that. Not that. No, it's that thing again. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's on that monitor. I don't think this monitor is hooked up to the camera. Yeah, you don't say, Marty. Thank you for that obvious little comment there. Okay, yeah, this one's different. Let's see if it's on this one. Yep, there we go. Figured it out. Um, Hello. Here we go. So, can we click on the VCR? There, Did that, that do looks anything? Like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Okay. Oh, it's yep, it's Biff. Biff. There he is. But it can't be him. The Knew Citizens it. Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? I mean, that was a very light tap on the head. I it wasn't exactly a brutal beating, was it? That's not the way he's it? supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhance feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Oh, I wonder if someone's Can controlling him. X11, you know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine. Don't lay into me, George. I've got something uh -oh. very Argument. important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. Pull yourself together. That's right. right. You two I sort things out. I've got together. some business to attend to. I'm more together than I've been in months, George. For your okay. You, you guys do whatever you're doing. Day. Have your argument and stuff. We're off. We've got to go and see Citizen Brown, I guess. It just gets more and more confusing, doesn't it? Looks like maybe Biff is being controlled remotely. Who would want to do that, though? That's the question. Who would want Biff to become Biff. controllable Whoa, to commit crimes? Down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Yep. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Tell him of this. Yeah, let's. Alright, why'd you beat up my dad? 
Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. So maybe he doesn't know he's doing it. <laughs> See? Okay, interesting. Where were you when my dad was attacked then? If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. Hmm. What is the last thing that you remember then? What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover baloney to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, hmm. she wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen wow, asleep okay. or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. So it's Edna. Edna was fiddling with your watch? So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah, can I see it? Biff, your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity <laughs> hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Hmm. Oh. Can we... So we can do things on it. X11. Unless we've got to change oh. the mode. Hey, I didn't know right, you could do okay. that. X... 11. Uh, what now? Biff? Okay, that's weird. So, now he looks all miserable and angry. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh, wow, okay. Did you attack my dad? Did you attack my dad? Now, now we're getting somewhere. So you can't even talk. Why? Why'd you attack my dad? Uh, who put you up to this? He can't answer questions like this. Uh, where's my dad's tape? Where's my dad's tape? Oh, he's got it. Recycling bin? Oh, the recycling bin. Could you go and get it? Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh. Right, he's gonna go and get it, okay. Right. Hey, Mr. Tannen. What's up? Uh, uh, uh. Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh. I don't know what that hey, noise was, You can't then. go in there. Uh, uh, hey! Get out of the way. <laughs> Wow, Whoa. he's fallen in. Uh... Holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle. Wait, is that fly. not a bin? I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Yeah, you do that. Um... I've got a really bad feeling about this. I guess yeah, we're going in. It was nothing. So it's not actually a bin, it's like, it leads to somewhere. That's interesting. Gosh, the mystery man. deepens Did again, I do guys. Something wrong? Did I do something, Mr. Tannen? Oh. I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord. I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? Uh -oh, rumbled. <laughs> here we are. McFly. Strickland. So she's running some operation oh, from hi, down Martin. here. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, 
Please restrain our guest. Fifth, stop. Uh oh. Stop. Oh no. Headlock. Uh, what do we do here? Use the left stick to look around. Oh, there's Einstein. In the cage. Um, what's this? There's a video game. Monitors. Some cigars. Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans. Huh? Tannin! Focus! What? He uh... spoke there. <clears throat> okay. I should have uh, known you'd be in Pimble parts. parts. Look, huh. girly mags. Biff, look, your favorite magazines. Oh, <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Uh, uh. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. If you say so. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, Monitors? It's your favorite show. Damn. What would really get Biff's attention down here? Right, we need something to get his attention. Look, look. Candy. C candy. No. No, he doesn't like candy. Uh, Edna's there. Biff. Uh, monitors. What about the video game? License yeah. plates. Isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila. Where am he I? He loves that car. Cannon. I didn't go behind my namby pamby husband's back so you <gasps> could walk oh. your vices. Damn it. Ow. I think. Uh, hey, beer. Look you love there. beer, Biff. It's beer. Beer? Yeah, beer, man. Did it work? Tannen, listen to me. Uh, babes. <laughs> Uh, booze. Looks like your game's up, Edna. Oh no! Uh, come on, fight it, Biff. Come on, you can do it, man. What the fight, fuck? Edna's control. Uh, mommy. Wow. Okay. Um. Turn in. Get up, you useless slacker! Did we just Come cause on, him Edna, to have a complete mental jerk breakdown? A break. a break! You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the uh... right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can... You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Zombie? Oh no, she erased them. Damn it. Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my <sighs> husband's. No. No. Edna. <gasps> Did he overhear? Emmett, what are you doing here? Please tell me he heard. Here uh, to please tell me he heard. Report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence. Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my Oh, he does work. know. Yes, come on. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well manicured lawn again. But Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the That's a dictatorship. changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Go on, Doc. Stand your ground. Fine. You can change things, ma'am. Help us out. Doc. Ah! 
Wow, that was dramatic. Uh, <laughs> what have I done? Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sorry about Edna. Your father wouldn't blame you. Don't be so hard on yourself, man. Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? Well, I'm sorry about Edna. I'm sorry we about Edna. could have told you she was like she that. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? I don't know, ma'am, but your father wouldn't blame you for this. I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, father? Tough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. That's more like the doc maybe, we know. But maybe not. What? What do you mean? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this Back. Ever. Look. You can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. Come on, Doc. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you mm -hmm. need is right here. The flux capacitor. See? It's the symbol. Great Scott. He can do it. Martin, this, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. Ha <laughs> Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and <laughs> start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! That's right. Well, here we are. And that seems like uh, as good a place as any to call it for the episode so it seems like we talked Doc round he's a scientist once again and hopefully he's going to help us get back to where we belong and fix this broken timeline but that is going to do it for this uh, uh sorry that is going to do it for this episode guys so um again sorry about the mic audio it's going to be like it for probably the next couple of videos maybe the next week's worth or so uh, until my adapter turns up and go back to the old one but at least we're getting videos out again, which is something I wasn't able to do without a laptop. So, baby steps, as they say. <laughs> so, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>